His knees both went out at the same time. Yeah, Eric Bindle is his name here. He's been walking with his dog Nice and a giant globe to raise money and awareness for diabetes since his mother died from it several years ago. Well, their trip obviously has come to a stop in Pasco County. That's, uh, that's where the dog got in trouble here and just couldn't do it anymore. And Fox 13 Step D.P. Antonio is going to bring us up to date now. He met with Bindle, who calls himself the world guy. All right, now, Steph, they've been walking, working together for so long. What happens here to the mission now? Well, John, the doctors at University of Florida have already checked the dog out, and they say he needs what amounts to a double knee replacement for both of his rear legs. He'll be good as new, but the surgery costs an arm and a leg. The earth is blowing across Route 19 and it's this monstrous beach ball. Eric Bendel has the whole world in his hands. Don't ever say you're going to walk till the snow flies. It's, it's not a good idea. And has covered nearly every corner of the lower 48s for months at a time. At the end of the day, we'll leave the ball where we get to, get a ride back to this van and bring the van up, leapfrog it every day. It's sort of a GPS, a good people system where just, I just never know who that person's going to be or how it's going to work out and it always does just him his giant world and his big six-year-old mixed breed sidekick named nice it's much cuter with the dogs the travelers met suzanne kidder huddling under her office canopy in the rain we invited them in how can you not they stayed till the rain cleared they walked from spring hill to gulfview mall which is about 12 miles and then the next day walked from there to Tarpon Springs and that's when he developed the limp. Nice had knee problems. It's genetic. It's not because I've walked him too much. It happens to dogs in between three years old and six, seven years old. His ligaments are torn and these nearly seven year old bones are in need of repair. Well, Nice here is, oh, he's very friendly, <laughs> giving lots of kisses. And as you can see, his his knees here have already been shaved. They're very, very tender, but he's ready to go in and get the procedure. But now all they need to come up with is about $2,400 to get him into the hospital and about $1,000 more after that for continuous care. Was it fate that led Bendel, his dog, and giant globe here? Coincidence that her office walls are lined with original artwork of globes? All of it has the earth in it somewheres. Our corporate logo is a blue and green globe. I'm sensing a Twilight Zone moment. Yeah, well, we kind of sense that too, you know? <laughs> it just was really bizarre. Crazy is that. The actual price of the surgery is much higher, but U of F is covering part of the cost. Bendel will stay with Nice at Kidder's Spring Hill office while the dog recuperates about three months. Now we have a link at myfoxtampabay.com and our Facebook page with more information on this pair if you think you can help. And we hope they get back to their mission of raising money and awareness for the American Diabetes Association real soon, John. Well, that's a great cause and we want them to go on. Thank you for bringing us up to date on that, Steph. Now